Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now, if you saw my last video, you saw that I just graduated PA school and now I am currently studying for my boards. The boards for PAs is the PANTS. It stands for the Physician Assistant National Certifying Exam. Here's a quick glance of the blueprint for the exam. I will pop that on the screen for you. This tells you what you need to study and what will be covered in the exam. With cardio and poem leading the pack at 13% and 10% respectively. So the pants is a five hour exam with 300 multiple choice questions divided into five blocks of 60 questions with 60 minutes to answer. So that leaves you with about one minute to answer each question. Between each of the five blocks, you have a 10 minute break. So you'll probably be in the testing zone for about six hours. So who takes the pants exam? PA students who are graduated from an accredited PA program. I will throw up the statistics on the screen for you guys. This is the national first time test taker pass rate. So about 95% of people in 2020 pass the pants. So most people do well. Okay, the next common question I got was when? When do you take the pants? So you take the pants after you graduate. You have to wait, I believe, a minimum of seven days before you can actually sit down to take the exam. I gave myself about two to three weeks to take the exam after I graduated because I wanted to make sure I had enough time to study and feel confident in my test taking skills. I know people who scheduled it exactly at that seven day mark and I know people who waited about a month, month and a half to schedule their exams. So it's really up to you and the amount of time you think you will need to succeed. Another note, the exam is $550. You schedule it on your own through the NCCPA website. I'll pop that on the screen for you guys. And if you do feel you have to wait another 90 days before you can reach take it. So just some things to consider. Now the infamous question of how. How are you studying for the pants? I wish that was a simple answer like I gave you for the rest of the common questions, but this one is different. This is what I'm using for the pants. It's called Help Campus. And as you can see, I have not started. So I've got my work cut out for me. As far as my schedule, I do not have a set schedule. I am going to be waking up late, going to the gym every day, just taking it relaxed because quite honestly, we have been learning this material all of clinical and didactic years. So it's just a matter of reviewing and feeling confident. So today I am studying dermatology. I have three sections left. So basically the way Help Campus works is it gives you a pre-test, like a pre-quiz. You go through those and then after it takes you through a lecture video, you complete the lecture video and then after that you take a quiz. All of it's pretty straightforward and easy after you watch the lecture video because it's all pretty fresh, but it really helps to reiterate the information. It allows for a very interactive learning style and that's why I like it. I am working on infectious disease. So then we're going to give them these HIV medications. Okay, so I got myself a gift, some pens from Amazon. If you don't know, these are the best note-taking pens, Precise V5. And I honestly forgot what I got myself, so we'll see. I got myself a candle. Wow, pumpkin spice scented candle. I literally, there you go. Okay, so my next order of action is to actually create a plan for myself. So I just finished all the help campus modules going through each of the Oregon systems individually. Now I have to see what else I have to do. Okay, 
So I realize I don't have as much time to do things as I expected. So I have mock exams by category. I literally wrote them out with the percent that they are on the pants and with how many questions are in those categories. Now I'm just gonna be doing a bunch of practice questions and hoping that that is enough. So I am driving to like my little community clubhouse. I am going to be studying here. Hopefully there is nobody here because I need absolute silence and my mom works from home, my brother works from home. I don't live in my apartment in Davie anymore, so. Got my Celsius, my water, notebook to write down any questions I get wrong that I want to remember, and laptop. I am going to do probably 300 practice questions, so let's get to it. What's up guys? It is Friday, about six days before my exam. I am doing cardio and poem questions today, which are probably the two most like difficult subjects for me. They are also the heaviest components of the pants with cardio being 13% and poem being 10%. I made this delicious broccoli, carrot, chicken, cheese, pasta. Bon appetit. This is my best friend. I am on my menstrual cycle, so we're popping these. I got my little snacks. So I'm going to be timing myself, giving myself an hour per section. Ready, set, go. I got four wrong out of 60, but I did notice that some of these are repeat questions. So guys, I finished 300 questions, which is as long as the pants. I was doing the mock exams on Help Campus. Prior to that, as you guys saw, I did the questions by categories. And the questions are repeated. So I will be doing these questions. I'm gonna finish this whole book. There's 600 questions, so I should do 300 tomorrow and 300 on Monday. I will also then be doing Rosh Review in this day and age it's all about adapting figuring out what you need to do
Got some Celsius. This is horrible. Ooh, don't recommend this flavor. So anyways, it's Sunday. My exam's on Thursday. So today I'm going to do pants, pan, read, question book questions. So I'm gonna try and do 200 today. This morning I went to the beach. So it's literally three o'clock. Probably only gonna study until about seven tonight. So I'm gonna do practice questions until then and time myself. Make it a very productive three hours. Let's get into it. So I am, I guess, writing notes for everything I got wrong that I should remember. And I'll look at it like the day before the test. I am a little upset. So I was doing so good on Help Campus, getting like probably five, six questions wrong out of 60. I do this book, it's a lot harder. I got 38 questions right out of 60 on the first practice test. I saw that I made a bunch of dumb mistakes. All the oranges are what I got wrong. I also felt pressed for time. This is not fun. at my neighborhood clubhouse. I left my phone at home, so I'm hoping to be very productive here. I'm going to do practice tests using different resources. Yesterday, I got super anxious about the exam because I wasn't doing too well on the question book questions as compared to how I was doing on Help Campus. So now I'm going to use a third resource, Rosh Review. I'm going to be taking a time 60 question block exam. So I'll keep you updated on how that goes. Rosh Review and that other book, I am getting like 65, 66%. But I looked at my performance analysis and a 66% equals a 84% probability of passing. So I think I'm good, but we're gonna keep doing practice questions, keep reviewing why I am getting the questions wrong. Coffee, 6.49. Uh, I need a haircut, guys. I didn't say you were allowed to talk. Okay, so a lot of debate goes around of what you should do the day before the test. My answer is a little different. I think you should do what's gonna make you the most calm, least anxious, and feel like the most prepared. So I personally am going to be studying until about three today. It is 10 o'clock, I slept in, eat dinner, and then I'm gonna go to yoga at 6.30. So to each their own. Thank you. 
I literally don't want to open it. I'm opening it. I'm opening it. <sighs> I passed. Oh my God. 